Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Two Travelers. In this short episode, we traveled from Bali to Malang by bus and ferry and visited a couple of sites in Malang, Kampung Warna Warni and Candi Badut. Come join us! After five incredible weeks of exploring Bali, it was time to move on to our next destination, Malang, a city in East Java well known for its mild climate. There was no direct flight from Bali to Malang, you could fly to Surabaya then drive to Malang, but we wanted to try taking the bus because we'd never taken an intercity bus in Indonesia before. It was also more hassle-free, we didn't have to worry about changing modes of transportation and handling our luggages until we reached Malang. We went with M Trans, a reputable bus company offering the Bali-Malang route. Tickets for their executive bus cost 250,000 rupees each. Departure from their Denpasar base was a bit delayed at 2 p.m., but the seats were spacious and comfortable, and we were given some food and drinks for the road. In the evening, we reached Gilimanuk Harbor where our bus boarded a ferry and we crossed the Bali Strait to East Java. We had to disembark from the bus on the ferry and the crossing took about an hour. Once we reached Java and got back onto the bus, it was dinner time. Dinner was included in our bus ticket and our bus made a stop at a local eatery where a buffet dinner was served. Food was alright, and it was a nice break on a long drive. We then continued west after dinner, and finally reached Malang at 2 in the morning. So the whole bus journey took 12 hours. Now what's in Malang, and why should you visit this city? Malang is located in the Cradle of Civilization in Java, where a number of ancient kingdoms used to be. You could visit some temples, what remains of those kingdoms here. This, for example, is Chandi Badut or Badut Temple, believed to be built in the year 760, making it the oldest temple in East Java. This site is free to visit, you just have to register yourself at the entrance. Malang is also sprucing itself up for modern tourism. Just minutes from the Malang city center, Kampung Warna Warni, literally colorful village, used to be a slum. But in 2016, a group of students from Muhammadiyah University initiated a social responsibility program and collaborated with a paint company to transform the slum into a colorful village, changing the place into a tourist attraction and educating the people who live there how to keep the village clean and beautiful. Now you can pay a token fee of 5,000 rupees to enter and walk around the village, while still respecting the privacy of the villagers, of course. Another great reason to visit Malang is because it is the gateway to Mount Bromo an active volcano that is one of the most beautiful and visited tourist destinations in Indonesia. And Batu, a mountain resort town which used to be a resting and recreation place for the Japanese royal family and then the Dutch colonial officers. You'll see more of these great destinations in our future videos. Last but not least, Malang is famous for their great local food and most local tourists visit Malang for a culinary holiday. If food is one of your reasons to travel, stay tuned for our next video where we bring you to the best places to eat in Malang, thanks to our local friends. Drop us a like and subscribe if you haven't so you won't miss it. Take care and we'll see you then.